this thing on. Yes, people, what is going on? How are we all doing? I hope everyone is fine and dandy. I am absolutely blinding. I am flying, mate. I am just, you know, on top of the uh, non-heliocentric world. Um, basically, people, I have got a confession to make, all right? And I'm going to demonstrate and I'm going to show to you why I have this confession to make and why I've got to sort my nails out, mate. Right, basically, I've jogged roulette on for a hot minute. Simply, look at that, man. The sun here is unreal. Look. Fuck. Um, I'm jogging roulette on, and this is my reasoning. And I will tell you why I have decided to switch allegiances um, to Baccarat, which is a card game which I never played a lot of before. Um, maybe if I, I was a little bit drunk or something and I fancied some blackjack or or sick bow and all that stuff and, and red tiger and all that. I've done that before, but I've never really actually analysed the game. So what I've done since Tuesday um, morning, I put a hundred and just under £130 on my uh, bankroll and I thought, right, I'm just going to basically do what I do with roulette. I'm going to... Not wait for four though, because it's very hard to wait for four in a row on uh, on Baccarat. So I've been waiting for two in a row and making my moves and doing what I've been doing. I now currently stand at four hundred and sixty pound. Um, no, four seventy. Sorry, on my bankroll. So that's over three hundred and forty pound profit. It is now Saturday afternoon, and in yeah three and a half days, I've made three hundred and thirty pound profit. And the thing is, right, with Baccarat, I'm going to go on there now and I'm going to show you. I may not necessarily play, but I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. Um, the thing I like about it is, there's three out. Let's just go with Mallory. Look, let's just have a look on here. And I probably will do a little bet just to show you what I've been doing. But you see down here, you've got the red dots and the blue dots, yeah? Right, so red dots are for bankers, blue dots are for players. The idea of the game is the closest to nine, yeah? So you get dealt a card. They get dealt a card, you get dealt a card, they get dealt a card, everything gets flipped over. Then, depending on what happens, you get to draw another card, right? And you can subtract, uh, you can get reduced down. Let's just say you've got a seven um, and the dealer's got an eight, all right? They got a natural eight, they got they got a monkey, which is a, a ten, um, or a face card, and they got an eight. So they've got a natural eight. You've got a seven. Now, if, I, if I'm right in thinking, you're allowed to improve on that. Now, if you've got a four, that would reduce you back to zero. Or a one, sorry. If you've got a three, it would reduce you back to zero. If you've got a four, it reduces you to one. If you've got a five, it reduces you to two. Because you basically go up to ten and then back to zero and then add them numbers on. So that's, if you don't understand it, you'll get an idea for it anyway. But what I love about it the most. Now, when you play blackjack, the fairest game in the casino, you... There's too many variables, I believe. There's too many decisions to be made. Um, like, do you double down? Do you split? Do you hit? Obviously, we know basic strategy, and there's other strategies out there that you can use that aren't basic strategy as well. But there's another variable. Roulette, right? Unless you, If you want to play roulette, all I suggest is you play red and black. Yeah? If you're going to play outside bets, because what I've come to notice over the years of playing roulette is... Low numbers are situated together on the wheel, 10 and 5. Um, there's even numbers next to each other on the wheel. And the only constant of odd or, or sort of one for like, like for like, red, black, is red, black, red, black, red. That's the only con the consistent thing on the wheel. Everything else, it doesn't go high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, all around the wheel. It changes. There's parts of the wheel, like in the third dozen, where a lot of their numbers are bunched together closer. So there's different... There's just variables that are happening, which I don't like. For for this, the way we play, it's low roller martingale shit, yeah? So hear me out on this, Baccarat, right? You hit a green on roulette, you get your, if you're betting on uh, anything other than green, you lose your money, yeah? You then have to go again or whatever, and they could hit they could hit green again, right? I've seen it, three zeros in a row. This is why I fucked roulette off, because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of seeing it. 
three zeros in a row, three 19s in a row, uh, you know, dealers spinning five numbers or six numbers and four of them being one number. Drop me out. Do you know what I mean? And I, I personally feel that this is the fairest game in the casino because if you do tie and you hit green, that pays eight to one, by the way, if you do hit that, you get your money back. So let's just say now, look, she's done two bankers, right? This would be our opportunity. We'd move on this, naturally. We'd go for our start our progression, which we would have lost. We would then double up. But let's just see if we can get a tire here. Let's just, look, I'll go, what shoe size is it? Right. I'll just put a pound bet down. I'll show you what we do. So we, we would have waited for two. This would essentially be our second bet, but... So we bet here, look, we get a nine. It gets reduced because three plus nine is 12. She has a five. Now we'd need like a six. A, a, look, we get a three, it's naff, yeah? So then we re-bet and double, obviously. Now, like I say, as you can see here as well, these tires are lit up. You can see zero, one, two, all the way through to nine, yeah? And you can see the odds. 150 to 1, 250. You can bet on that shit. And I'm telling you, it it's crazy. I put 50p on five once and got just 55 quid, boom, like that. It's very, tires happen during a shoe. They do happen, but they are sort of scarce. But you may get five or six tires during a, during a shoe, which is which is all right. If you can if you can guess them, you're in the money. But look, this is, this is what, um, I've been doing, yeah, I have seen big streaks. I have seen them. Um, but the thing is, that we got a nine there. That's beautiful, natural nine. The only thing that would have beat us there is if she got another five to make it a tie, which meant we would have got our money back. And then we just re-bet. We don't re-bet and double because we don't need to. So, look, we just I'm going to put a pound on a tie for free just because we're here. I don't want to get into a whole... This ain't going to be a whole episode of me playing because I feel like sometimes that can dramatically change how I play as well. Um, so, you know, when I was doing the roulette bankroll builder, I'd sit here doing stuff. Um, maybe I was chasing stuff too much and I weren't listening to my own advice. You know, the 10% rule, X, Y and Z of your bankroll. Like with this, I'm not using, I'm not splitting my bankroll, uh, dividing it by 100. Because if so, I'd be having to bet basically five pound a hand and runs can go on. So keep it simple. Look, if you've got 470 pounds on your bankroll like I have, bet two pounds, just two pound. You want to try and get five wins. What I've been doing is five wins an hour, casual 10 pound. I have 12 sessions a day. You do the math. Now, when I get to six hundred pound, that's when I'm going to bump it up to three pound. My stakes, three pound, yeah. And when I get to eight pound, I'm going to bump it up to four pound. This, and now you can protect yourself even more. You can wait for a run of three. You could wait for three bankers, and to give yourself that extra insurance. You could even have a starting bankroll of four hundred pound and do one pound bets, and give yourself wait for free and do one pound bets you would be very, very secure, you know? You set a stop loss. I would, I'm always trying to set a stop loss at half of my bankroll, whatever it is. If I jump on, whatever my bankroll, half of it, yeah? Because I think that gives you enough room to not lose it all, obviously, but it gives you room to play and to have a few, like, progressions if you have to, a few martingales. Because you don't just want to come on here and be like, right, I've got 470, my stop loss is 400 pounds. Okay, cool. So you might come on, you might have a nice run, you might earn ten pound, you might jump off, like I'll have a session again in an hour or so, I'll go for some lunch and come back. But when you do get a bad run, so let's just say you're betting two pound and you've got sort of seventy quid to play with, two pound, next progression's four pound, that's six pound all in all. Next progression's eight pound, so that's fourteen pound all in all. Next progression's sixteen pound. Yeah, so that's thirty pound that you've spent, and your next bet is going to be thirty two pound, and that's going to be it. You're going to have five opportunities, and then that can wipe you out, and then you're down to your four hundred. You do the good thing of being like, right, that's it, walk away, but you've just lost seventy quid. 
by not having enough bullets in the chamber. And that's what this is about. Big bankroll is the answer. Big bankroll, small stake. And the thing with Baccarat as well, there's casinos out there that let you bet up to 10 grand. They let you bet up to 10 grand. Roulette will limit mainly 1,800. Yeah. Do you know how many times I've hit that limit? And hit the limit, I bet don't land, and then guess what? The bet rolls in the next time round. But because you can't put X, Y, and Z down, you can only put a certain amount down. On these, some casinos, yeah, it's two grand. Fair enough, right? But I've seen casinos. Um, I won't name them because I don't, I don't know if that gets you in trouble or anything, right? But there's a casino out there at the minute that I'm keeping my eye on that lets you have 10 grand. Your biggest bet you can put down is 10, 10 grand on player, yeah? If you actually had that big, if you had a bankroll like that, I can't see how you can lose. I genuinely can't see how you can lose. I have not seen no more than eight. <clears throat> Sorry, I have seen more than eight. I've seen t about 12. I've seen it come down a whole column. So what's that? A seven and a half. So yeah, I've seen about 12, 13 bankers in a row before with some tyres mixed in. That's the thing. That's what I like. The tyres kind of save you. Because if it's on a run of banker, I only bet player because banker pays. This is another thing. Banker pays doesn't pay uh, one to one. It pays less. So you get, if you put a pound on banker and it comes in, you get one ninety five back, not two pound. So I always just bet player just because I think over a big bet, that's quite a bit of money maybe that you miss out. So I just always bet player. I always wait for the banker trigger of two and move. But, you know... When it is going banker, 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 and then you get a tire, it's almost like a little, like a little. Mm, all right, we'll give you another bullet. Do you know what I mean? Because you are getting essentially another crack at it because it's giving you your money back, and then it's down to you whether you want to go, whether you see that as a sign from the gods, as in that, like, come on, slow your roll, fuck off. But either either, what you are going to see when I do upload, it is going to be more backer at. And obviously, there's been some slots on the channel. I don't know if you've noticed. You probably have. You probably haven't. Because to be fair. I'm not really banging the views lately, so I won't lie to you. Um, saying that, if you do like watching all this sort of palaver of me spunking money left, right and centre, um, then feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, you know it helps out the old algo. And um, yeah, man, I've wagered six and a half grand this week, so we're doing all right. We took, we, we're, we're 350 up, I've wagered a lot of money, um, you know, I've wagered more money than people earn in four months just in four days and i love it you know people can people can say yeah but gambling's a mugs game rah 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 you can think what you like bro they tell you it's a mugs game because they know that people can crack it and i'm telling you now baccarat if you want to earn a bit of dough honest to god i'd get on it and play it um obviously there's there's tape there's a brasilia table which minimum bets 50p so look if you've got 200 quid kicking about and you want to, instead of putting it on roulette or going blackjack, if you normally do bet on them games, them table games, I'd suggest giving Baccarat a whirl. Don't think about the game too much. Just play the game. Martingale, positive prog uh, negative progression when you lose. And just, just remember that, yeah, you can hit bad runs on this, but it's a lot, lot, lot more forgiving than blackjack. And it is a hell of a lot more forgiving than roulette. So... I hope this sort of like clears up um, sort of any confusion around the game because it can be a bit daunting. You come on here, you're like, what's the board? What's this? What's that? And look, all this stuff down the bottom here, you know, like play up, tie bank up. You can see here, you can bet on all sorts of stuff. Don't get caught up in that. Unless, unless you've got like a lot of money and you just want to prat around. Look, you can see in this shoe, we've had no tyres, you know. A tyres due, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But do you, would you sit there betting ten pound a spin, covering all them tie options, for it not to land? It's you know this is where they try and sort of get you betting on banker pair, player pair. Da, 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 da. It's just like blackjack with all that side bet bullshit. If you play side bets, you're an absolute wet lettuce and you're a plant pot. You don't even deserve to be in a casino. If you play side bets, you're an absolute wally. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. Um, I've played enough blackjack to know that side bets ain't worth the fucking paper they're written on, or they're not worth the felt they're scribbled on. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just keep it, keep it, uh, keep it for entertainment. Keep it light-hearted. No stupid bets. 
do what we do, man. The 10% daily profits. I started today on £400. I got into a progression. I went down to 265 That's how far it had got. And I got to like the 34 four pound one and I think I ordered 32 pound chucked a bit of extra sauce on and put it to 35 then my next bet was for 70 and it put me on 265 so I just clicked it down to uh, 260 to make it a 75 pound and it landed right but that was going to be my stop loss I was going to walk then but either either it landed and then because I put them extra bits on it put me 60 pound up so I've made my 10% for the day. That's why I'm not willing to sit here playing. I'm just willing to explain to you what, what's been going on, what we're going to be doing from here on in. And yeah, just a, a quick sort of demonstration and a breakdown. And I know it's a bit of a long video and it's just me talking and waffling, but I want you to understand that the reason why uh, we ain't been uploading lately and we've just been doing slots is because it's, it's fun, friendly, hassle-free. And I'll take a little bit of inspiration here from the 10 Gamer himself. Shouts out to Matt, by the way. Um, been watching him for a hot minute now, um, over a year or so. And, um, you know, it's brilliant what he does. He just does a stream, two streams a week. He puts out 25 quid out of his own pocket every stream, puts it in the fruit machines and sits there playing slots on low roller, it's brilliant. So I took a bit of a leaf out of his book and I thought, you know what, I know people like the bankroll builders and I love them as well. There's nothing better than taking £50 up to three grand. believe you and me. Johnny P just has to learn how to fucking withdraw. But what I'm getting at here is, uh, I know people like all that, oh, look at that run on play alert, one, two, three, four, five... Can't really count the tire, but look at that run on player. That's what I'm saying. Runs can happen. I'll keep this running just so you can see it. Just so you can see it. But yeah, I love doing the bankroll builders, and you know it can be taxing on on not 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 only my uh, not my finances, but taxing on mental health, man. Not my mental health. I'm not being a bitch, but I'm saying like the frust the the stress of being like, ah, oh, I got to do a video today. But I weren't feeling it. Like I weren't feeling the table. I'd come on and I'd see a lot of zeros being hit and stuff. I ain't feeling this. But I'd feel pressured into doing a video. Do you know what I mean? So then it'd be like, I'll get on and do the video. And guess what? I fucking lose the bankroll. So I'm starting to listen to myself from now on and not the demands of YouTube and doing videos. Um, so yeah, there is a lot more sort of light-hearted stuff going to be on the channel. Just while we, we do this... And before you know it, this bankroll will be about 1,500 quid. And I can come back and say to you, look, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to we're gonna be running with this bankroll. Uh, then we can do bankroll builders because it's, it's crucial to have a massive bankroll. And at the minute, 470 is not enough. It's not enough to start going live with and doing live streams and sitting there taking a, you know, sitting there on a live stream and uh, uh, sort of asking you know, the people watching along, where should we go and play um, in terms of table games and if we want roulette call-outs on roulette numbers. I need a big bankroll for that, yeah? Nobody wants to see me sitting here betting 40 minutes worth of me sitting here betting 50p's and that building the bankroll. I know it looks good and people... I don't know, let me know what you think. Do you like the bankroll builders? Do you want me to keep them? Uh, what, what do you... You know, what do you prefer? If you prefer the, the slots action and then just a little video like this every now and then just to top up on, on strategies and things like that, just, just you know, let us know in the comments below. But I'm going to get it moving on from here because I've been talking shit for 19 minutes and I'm sitting here looking at this and look at that run on player, man. But this is the beautiful thing about this game. There's two options. There's literally two options. And if you're betting on one of them, the only other thing I will say, look, look at the shoe change coming up here as well. Look at that, the white card. So keep an eye on the shoes. They only get about halfway up before they change. And I'd suggest not trying to get into anything. I, I personally wouldn't suggest if that stack that she's putting the cards into there, if that's like two thirds of that, I would stay away from the table. I wouldn't even, if it's over halfway up, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go near it. Because the shoe change, if you're in a progression, they change the shoe, completely different set of cards and whatever. It's like a dealer change at a roulette wheel. You just you don't want to get caught up in that shit. So um, yeah, look, I've been little Johnny P. 
I've been keeping it staunch. I hope you've been keeping it staunch. And as ever, one love, one and all, you handsome bastards. Thank you.